Do you think real estate is overpriced? Wait until you see virtual real estate. Recently, a plot of land on the sandbox was sold for $4.3 million. In this video, I will explain what is the sandbox and how you can participate as a developer. If you are new here, I'm Julian and on Eat the Blocks, I help Web2 developers transition into Web3. The Sandbox was created in 2012 by the game studio Pixel. It started as a platform for pixel art before evolving into a virtual world. Like Minecraft, it's made out of voxels. However, unlike Minecraft, it's deployed on the Ethereum blockchain. And this means that it's possible for players to own one of the 166,000 land plots of the Sandbox because each of these land is an NFT represented as an ERC721 token. The ownership is recorded on the blockchain, but the metadata like the land location and size is recorded outside of the blockchain on a decentralized file storage called IPFS. When you own a land, it's possible to customize it. For example, you can add an item made by an artist on the Sandbox marketplace. You can also create your own items with the voxel editor of the Sandbox. And you can also build a game for your plot by using the game editor of the Sandbox. The native token of the Sandbox is called Sen. Sen has a market cap of 4 billion, making it the third largest gaming cryptocurrency. Technically, it's an ERC20 token. It's used for buying and selling land, staking and governance. To sum up, there are four things you can do in the sandbox. You can be a player that explores the virtual world. You can be a land owner that buys lands, build experience on them and sell them. You can be an artist that creates voxel items for land owners. Or you can be a game developer who builds game for land owners. And if you want, you can even build your own metaverse. This isn't easy, but we are still very early and metaverses have a lot of potential. And if you want to learn how you can build your own metaverse NFT, check out this video. I will see you there.